I think when you're up there and it's kind of your voice and you're in the, like front with a microphone, it's just way more intimidating. I can definitely tell like in your in your performances, um, it's like like there's there's no structure to how you move as like a front person. But I'm thinking to myself, like, uh, this is it's it's so interesting to watch how you dance because it's like you're you're pulling from so many different <laughs> directions. Like how I'm I'm thinking, you know, not just about your voice, but also your movement. Like, how did you um I feel like in in hardcore there's like a standard way of being a front person especially if you're a guy I feel like there is like a a range of movement that you're really allowed I mean some people you know they will just like jump off the stage they'll be like leaping from one direction to the other other people will just kind of like you know uh <laughs> like uh hunch and like you know scream and like spit into the audience and stuff but you have this it's it's almost like watching this like punk ballet technique in your performance. Um, so how did you how did you get comfortable enough to have this like, you know, freedom of range? At least I that's what I think whenever I see you perform is, you know, your body moves with the music um, in a way that it looks very, very liberating. Yeah, it's kind of funny because I I always feel like I was like thrusted into being like a singer because I played drums mostly like before playing in this band and just started this band, like didn't really play shows for the first couple of years, but kind of just made music. And then eventually we started touring more and the more and more we played shows, I was like, oh shoot, I guess I'm a singer in a band, you know? It was kind of like accidentally happened. And I think I, I'm always still like still get really nervous playing shows, but especially in the beginning, it was like really kind of, it's a different thing than being like playing drums. It's mm -hmm. both fulfilling in different ways, but I think when you're up there and it's kind of your voice and you're in the like front with a microphone, it's just way more intimidating. And I think like you were saying, like I think early shows, I tended to kind of just do exactly what you're saying, which is like say one word and just throw the mic down and jump into the crowd and just move so much. And I think a lot of times it was like out of excitement and the energy in the room, but also just like nervousness to just to be kind of, you know, holding a mic and people like looking at and hearing like my voice as opposed to just playing an instrument. And it's all, it's all like very, powerful in different ways but for me like singing I was like oh this is really scary now so I probably <laughs> just I remember people always used to be like well, you didn't act you said like two words in the, the whole set and that's really just because I you know just like it's just like the nerves and the the adrenaline from just that kind of vulnerable I don't know it's a little vulnerable it just felt a little extreme and I feel like same with like writing music. I think all of us, mm. like every record that we do, it's like you kind of just are, it's just a reflection of, of you at the time. And I think with every record you do and every year you play more shows and listen to more music and see more music and get inspired by it. Like you're constantly kind of just unlocking different parts of yourself, I think, and getting more comfortable with just like, you know, I don't think you'll have a fully mixed sense of it all, but I think you just get more comfortable and like, living in your skin a little bit um creatively if that makes sense so i feel like and that's why I, I like to i like i like touring so much because a lot of times when you make um songs in in studio like i think they really come to life when you actually start playing them in a, a real life environment um and you start to kind of like unlock different parts of the songs that just like, you know, they start to change a little bit and take a life of their own. And I think like, in a way, that's kind of like what everyone in the band is doing is like, we as we move as a unit where we're kind of like, you know, playing 
um, and touring and making music and putting out songs and stuff like that. But with the progression of it, you kind of get a little more comfortable in yourself and you, you like, you know, kind of like just get more comfortable expressing yourself, I guess.